here at Rainier Arms, and that is Raid Works. And the two products that we're carrying from Raid Works right now is going to be their optic riser mount for the Aimpoint uh, Micro, as well as their charging handle. So first, we're going to start with this riser mount, which is a tall boy. This riser mount puts your Aimpoint Micro 2.76 inches above your rail. So we're really getting it up there compared to most kind of skyscraper high rise mounts out there on the market right now. And it's a pretty solid, this is a pretty solid mount. So the company themselves is a group of guys that all have LEO military background, some uh, special forces, all the cool stuff that we like to hear about. And they have a pretty cool T&E program where they actually spend a lot of time with the products being used and getting feedback and making those changes and really having to be very happy with what they have produced before it goes out on the market. So the two that we are carrying right now, again, are the RSR riser, which again is a optic riser for the Aimpoint Micro, and then the charging handle. And I'll get to the charging handle in a second. Let's talk about the riser. So uh, one, uh, one like feature that you're used to seeing with the optics risers is the ability to use your iron sights. We don't have iron sights set up on this rifle currently right now, but if I have standard sight or standard height iron sights, what you're going to end up being able to do is see right through the gap and have the ability to utilize your backup iron sights if this optic were to ever go down. So that is a, a must in my opinion. You have to have some sort of backup iron sight solution, solution or backup sight solution so we have it. Now the real cool unique aspect besides the height, this being like much taller than most, is this battery compartment right here on the side which is a cool, unique way to utilize all this extra space that you're having, you've created by having a tall mount like this. So this battery compartment is waterproof completely, which is going to allow you to be able to store your backup battery or I don't know, whatever else you might want to put in there. If you want to put tool bits, I don't know, whatever, candy, you know, you decide, but I'd probably suggest a battery. So the reason for that was their t &E team, uh, some of the guys on the LEO side and some of the guys that way we're spending some time overseas, liked the idea of being able to have a battery right there for the off chance that their battery goes out right before a patrol or something and they don't have to dig into their backpack. So they figured, you know what, let's just add that to the risers. And so now we've got a battery compartment. Now the other cool part about that is this battery cap, this compartment cap, you can go ahead and unscrew it. Um, on the inside, there is rubber backing, and on the front here is a rubber uh, plug, which is going to make sure that you're not having metal connecting, you know, to the uh, to the positive and negative side of your battery. But the cap itself is built to work on either taking off your battery cap of your aim point that fits right in there like a flathead screwdriver. It also works on not all, but most adjustment caps for zeroing. Uh, especially for your EOTech. Um, they're going to have an EOTech version as well. But uh, that cap is kind of a multi-tool as well when it comes to those quick needed adjustments. So all made out of 7075 T6 aluminum with some steel reinforcement when it comes to your clamp. So a nice uh, reinforcement of st stability or durability, having that be uh, a steel rather than aluminum. And... Uh, we got this bad boy here in the black and in this FDE, which, you know, FDE has all sorts of variations. So this one's kind of a little bit more brown, which I like. Kind of gives a little bit of Daniel Defense kind of vibes for their color scheme. But uh, those two color schemes right now and uh, just a solid product. If you like having that heads up shooting position or you're spending a lot of time with uh, night vision on, or you like to have the ability to shoot with night vision on, having more of a passive aiming or a heads up aiming position, as well as you're like, you know, a uh, gas mask, whatever it might be, that's where these risers really come and shine. So take a look at that. They're pretty solid. New company, like I said, it's all US made. Bunch of great guys. Uh, spent some time on the phone with Gil, and uh, he gave me a whole lot of information and backstory about them. Really cool stuff. Type 3 anodized uh, including the steel clamp so we're gonna have corrosion resistance okay so that is the riser